So I'm uh, Richard Bratz and I'm the Edwin R. Gilliland Professor in Chemical Engineering and I do research in advanced manufacturing primarily for biopharmaceuticals. And so I'll be teaching a course on bioprocess data analytics and machine learning and um, basically there's been a lot of advances that have been made, um, not just in data analytics but especially in machine learning methods and the amount of data being produced has grown like crazy. So you use huge amounts of data, huge amount of tools that are coming in, but it's also very easy to um, to misuse those tools and, and to get results that you're, you think are good and are not good. Participants in the class will learn what is the best kind of techniques that they should be applying for particular types of problems that show up in bioprocessing. Um, and they'll be able to, by learning that, they can select the best techniques in a very efficient, reproducible way. And then each of the days is designed so we'll cover certain types of problems and from those problems we'll then have hands-on data sets within those type of techniques. So the person can immediately apply, immediately ask questions, the other th and, and, and go back and forth to solve, to solve different types of problems. Uh, one of the strengths of those approaches is that they can uh, accelerate your process development pipeline so that you can take the invention of the drug and from that get it as fast as possible through the development into the consumers. So that's really the positive side about all this type of stuff, right? So, um, so it's not just about being on spec, but it's basically that if you use data well, you can take, um, make much better decisions about the experiments that you take, that you make, and the use of the data from those experiments so that you can converge quickly to a low risk, high quality product.